What is Tu B'Shvat? Yes, Tu B'Shvat is the 15th day of the month of Shvat. It's also a day that we eat fruits, dried fruits and exotic fruits. It's a day that we don't say Tachn and the Goyen says because it's a Yom Tev. But what exactly is Tu B'Shvat? The Mishnah says, the first Mishnah in Rosh Hashanah, it's Rosh Hashanah Li Ilonis. Now, Rosh Hashanah of Tishrei, we understand. The mission even says it's the beginning of the year. That's when you start the year. So Tavshin Pei Bei started Rosh Hashanah out of Tishrei. What exactly is Rosh Hashanah Li'ilonis? So the Gemara explains, Daf Yudalad, and the Gemara says, Harashi explains the Gemara, even though the winter nearly just began, Let's say this year, it just started snowing, it just got cold. But since most of the rain has come, and the trees started working, which means the sap is going up in the tree, that's Rosh Hashanah Leilonis. The trees are getting to work to start produce, to, to produce the Paris for the coming year. Now, even though we know the Berchus Ilanis you make in Nisan, in spring, the flowers come out, but it doesn't start then. It starts now, when it's cold, when it's dark, and the snow on the ground, the trees are already starting to prepare for the, for the coming season, for the spring and the summer. I think this is a very powerful lesson for us. Sometimes it's dark. It feels dark. But a person has to know, a person has to believe that even during a dark time, just like we know Hashem sends Rufua Kaidim Lamaka, even during a dark time, we know, we believe it's already cooking. Hashem's goodness is on the way. It's not just when it comes the next day, the next week. It's already in the process now even in its, when it's cold, but doing like a tree. Now you look at the tree, it's freezing outside, the snow, it's dark, but the tree is already working now to produce the flowers later in the spring. Have a wonderful day.